Hi, my name is Jeff Edmonds, and um, I'm going to give you a basic demonstration of gate level design using Vivado uh, with uh, simulation. So uh, this is, um, the video was recorded on my Linux machine, which does not have um, a microphone right now. So um, I have, I'm doing a voiceover right now that's not live. Okay, so we just opened up Vivado and we're gonna open up the project. Uh, this is uh, this demonstration uses a basic uh, SR latch. So we're gonna open up our source file and you can see that there's a module that's created for uh, the SR latch with an input S for set, input R for reset, and output uh, Q uh, for the um, uh, the output, um, which is placed into a register. Um, and then we have uh, some assignments. Uh, so if we receive an input on S, then Q is equal to 1. And then else, if we receive a input on R, Q is equal to 0. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the simulation uh, Verilog file. So for the inputs, we placed uh, set and reset um, into registers so we can uh, assign uh, input values. And then uh, we assign Q to a wire for the output. Um, that line just uh, basically uh, assigns the simulation to the other Verilog file. And then uh, we start the simulation where we set um, set equal to zero and reset equals to one. And then um, the pound one means that we'll wait a uh, wait for one nanosecond. And then we'll set uh, reset equal to zero. Then wait five nanoseconds set equal to one, wait another mic a nanosecond, set equal to zero, then five nanoseconds, reset equal to one. And then we'll go ahead and check the what happens when set is equal to one and reset is equal to one, which is um, you know basically an invalid input. Um, and then we'll go ahead and do the same for both being set to zero. All right. So before we look at the simulation, we'll take a look at the the schematic that um, Vivado creates directly from our uh, Verilog uh, program. Uh, so you can see the overview here with the inputs R and S. Then we can expand it and see the internals. Um, that includes, you know, two inputs, uh, three inputs, uh, with one of them being ground and then the output at Q. Okay, so we can go ahead and run the simulation now. We'll expand it so we can see it better. And then dive into the details. So there at the beginning, we can see that uh, reset is equal to one, and uh, so Q is equal to zero. Then we set one, uh, set equal to one, and get an output of one at Q. And then reset set to one, so we get an output of uh, uh, zero at Q and then when we go ahead and set set equal to one and reset equal to one um, the simulation has chosen you know has determined that this should be a one on the output which in reality um, you know we, we really know what should be the output um, and then when we set both set and reset equal to zero we'll also
also get a one, which is also which is um, what we would expect because that's what Q was previously. And then again, go back to a one and one on set and reset, which puts Q at one, which is you know basically we don't know if that's what we want or not. That's to be avoided. Okay, so that pretty much sums up the SR, and so now we'll go ahead and do a go on to the a half adder um, demo, demonstration. Uh, so we have our half adder Verilog, and then an input of A, an input of B, an output of sum, and output of C out for the carry. Uh, and then we make some assignments where sum is equal to x, uh, x or b, and then c out is equal to a and b. So this is the simulation program. Uh, so we place a, assign a and b to a register to hold those input values, and then assign sum and c out to um, a wire for the out to hold the output value. Uh, and then just uh, this line just basically uh, assigns this simulation program to the uh, Verilog script that we looked at. And then to begin we'll start with uh, both of the inputs being equal to zero. We'll wait five nanoseconds and set A equal to one then wait five nanoseconds, set A equal to zero, and B equal to one, wait five more, B equal to zero, five more nanoseconds, and we'll go ahead and see what happens when we get A equal to one and B equal to one. So we'll run the simulation. Expand, go ahead and dive in. All right, so at the beginning here, we got zeros all the way down uh, because we have uh, two zeros on the inputs. And we'll go and see what happens when A is equal to one. So we get an output of one on uh, the sum. And then we'll set B equal to one, which also results uh, in a, with A equal to zero, which also results in a one on the output at sum and then uh, go back to zeros all the way down. And then lastly, we'll see what happens when A and B are equal to one, which results in a C out that is equal to one, which is uh, what we would expect. So we'll go ahead and um, end this video and I forgot to show the schematic, so we'll jump back into the schematic in just a second. All right, so here is, we're gonna form the, uh, create the schematic based on our Verilog code. And there's our um, half adder that uh, um, Vibato has uh, created a schematic for. So we have the A input, the B input, uh, our AND gate and our XOR gate. Um, and then our output C out and sum. So I hope that uh, demonstration was helpful.